I want to briefly talk about this paper that's making headlines for allegedly revolutionizing physics by introducing three time coordinates. What an amazingly creative and original idea. When I was an undergraduate student, I had exactly the same idea. Because it's so ugly that we have three dimensions of space and only one dimension of time. It'd be so much prettier, so much more symmetric if it was three and three. I actually believed at the time that this is how physics works. You just become convinced of some pretty idea and that's what you work on. Then I learned, well, physics and realized that this idea is obviously nonsense. It isn't even difficult to see. Think of Newton's law or Coulomb's law. The gravitational or electric force of a spherical source drops with one over r square. Why is that? It's quite simple. It's because force lines spread into all directions of space. And in three dimensions, those directions scale with the surface of a sphere, so R square. If we lived in a four-dimensional space, Newton's law would go with one over R cube. In fact, you can turn this around and use the spread of force lines or generally randomly moving particles to infer the dimension of space. It's called the spectral dimension. The reason you probably haven't heard about it is that it's usually the same as the normal dimension we talk about with, you know, orthogonal vectors called the Hausdorff dimension. The advantage of the spectral dimension is that you can use it for non-integer dimensions, fractal dimensions. That's an interesting topic, but let me come back to the idea that time has three dimensions. Forces don't dilute in time, so time has only one dimension, and that's the end of that story. You can, of course, make some extra assumptions that, for whatever reason, two of these three dimensions of time don't work like the third, but now you're just trying to sweep problems under the rug of an idea that doesn't want to work. But let me say something about this recent episode that does Dozens of people wanted me to comment on. This is a press release about one guy who wrote a paper that was published in a low quality journal. The author, among other things, claims to be able to reproduce the masses of particles in the standard model. I'm sure that the vast majority of my colleagues in physics are able to tell at one glance that this paper is complete nonsense. Let's appreciate for a moment, for example, that the author normalizes the wave function to one in space, time, with three dimensions of time, of course. Wave functions are normalized to one in space because the probability to find a particle somewhere in space must add up to one. It stays one at all times. It isn't normalized to one in time. That makes no sense. Then these bizarre conservation laws are uncontracted and therefore don't conserve anything. The author doesn't understand how Lorentz invariance works, pulls numbers out of nowhere, thinks that the graviton propagator is a scalar, and most remarkably, claims that a six-dimensional space-time naturally reduces to standard Minkowski space-time when two temporal dimensions become negligible. What does it mean for a temporal dimension to become negligible, I ask you? It doesn't mean anything. It's mathematical rubbish, like this entire fucking paper. This should never have been published. But what happens? This guy sends a note to his university's PR office. They put out a press release and the thing gets slapped up all over the place. Look, I don't like criticizing other people's work any more than anybody else. This author put a lot of effort into writing this paper and is probably proud of it and now I feel really bad. Someone should take him aside and tell him to take some physics courses before trying to do physics. I only crap on other people's theories because someone has to, but the kind thing to do would be to just ignore this stuff. Do you really need me to tell you that no, time doesn't have three dimensions? Holy fuck! Do you think that this is how physics works? Well, maybe, because I once believed that myself. <laughs>